Hi everyone, it's Miss Helene. How are you doing today? I hope everyone's having a great time and that you guys got to go outside and play. It's been cold outside, but the weather has been sunny, which is a nice thing because that means spring is coming. So let's look at our weather chart and let's say, so the other day we had our weather on windy. So let's take our arrow and move it to sunny. It's not snowing and it's not raining. I think it's sunny outside today. So maybe you guys will get to go outside and play for a little bit. Sounds like a good idea. I think so. All right. So do you remember that we started a new month about a week ago? Does anybody remember what it is? It's the month of March. M March. M a R C H March. And in March, we talk about shamrocks, which we see for St. Patrick's Day and windy weather. Because March is windy, cold month and rainbows. Because on St. Patrick's Day, the little leprechaun looks at the rainbow and at the end of the rainbow, there's something special. We're gonna talk about that maybe, I don't know, maybe at the end of the week or next week. Because St. Patrick's Day is not for a week or two, but we're going to do some fun things for it. So today we're gonna to continue to talk about rainbows. Remember all the different colors? There's red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. See my rainbow it has all the different colors. And the last time that we hung out, I sent home a lot of different things that have colors on it. So I don't know if you had a chance to do them or not, but when you can, if you want to, we spoke about different things that were red. What's something that's red? Hmm, what's something that we like to eat that's red? An apple or strawberries, right? Mm -hmm. An orange. What's something that we like to eat that's orange? Oranges and carrots, right? What about yellow? What's that thing called that we eat that's yellow? Bananas, good job. Green, hmm, is there something green that we like to eat? Maybe lettuce or spinach or broccoli or green grapes, right? And then blue, is there something blue to eat? Hmm, blueberries, good job. We like to eat blueberries. And the last color is purple. What is something purple that we like to eat? Purple grapes or eggplant. Some of you might like to eat eggplant. Eggplants are purple too. And those are just foods that we like to eat. Then there are other things that are the colors of the rainbow, like a fire truck, right? Or the sunshine is yellow. Yeah, right? Flowers. Good job, right? So these are the colors of the rainbow. So I thought we'd start off this time today by listening to a story that I know you like this animal and he does something to his shoes where they change colors. Hmm, I think you might have read this story before. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know who this guy is? Let's listen. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh, no. Pete's 
stepped in a large pile of strawberries. <gasps> What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes. 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 I love my red... Oh, no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color no, did it no. turn his shoes? Blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes. 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 I love... Oh, 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 no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Oh, no. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. 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 I love my brown Oh, no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White! But now they were wet. Oh, no. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. 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 The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song because it's all good. Remember, we say thumbs up means it's all good. Oh, boy. Pete the cat had a rough day when he went for his walk. Right? And when he stepped in all those puddles, his shoes turned different colors. That's what happens. So you have to be very careful. Don't step in a pile of raspberries because your shoes might turn red. And don't step in a pile of blueberries because your shoes might turn blue. You have to be very careful. Okay, so we're going to do something. It's a look and listen. Hmm. I'll do it this way so that I have the whole board. We know what look and listens are. We have to read the instructions and then we have to color. So I have my crayons and I'm going to find my rainbow colors, my orange, my yellow, green, purple, blue, red. Is this the way they go? No, what color goes first? Red then orange, then yellow, then green, then blue, and then purple. So I have them here on my table. So the first thing I'm going to do is trace my name. You can trace it or you can write it by yourself. I think by now, a lot of you have had so much practice that you can probably write it by yourself. But there's my name, Miss Helene. So this says, 
read and color the picture for the underlined word. So let's find the word that has a line underneath it. This says, I see the cactus. And what word has a line underneath it? Cactus. I'm gonna highlight it so you can see the line. See it? So which picture is a cactus? What color is a cactus? Green. Let's find your green color in the rainbow and color our cactus green. Okay, you wanna try and stay inside the lines, which means this is not a big picture. So you have to color little lines, right? Let's try and stay inside the picture. You do the best that you can. I know everybody does. So here is my cactus. Hey, I don't need my green crayon right now. So let's see the next one. This one says, I see the camera. See, camera has a line underneath it. See the line? My camera is getting, let me see. Is that better? Better for me, it was getting dark. See, line. So which picture is the camera? Is that a camera? No, that's a frog. There's a camera, right? What does a camera do? Takes pictures, right? All right, so let's color the camera. Hmm, what do you think? Orange, let's color it orange. I found orange in my rainbow. And I'm going to color the camera. The circle in the middle, that's called the lens. And when you look through a camera, you're looking through the lens to see the picture that's on the other side. So you don't have to color that orange. Let's just color the camera orange. I know a lot of people take pictures with their phones now. So a camera is something that we used to use to take pictures with, right there. All right, the next one says, I see the car. See the underline under car? Where is it? Right there. So let's find the car and let's color the car blue. Here's my blue. My car that I drive is white. And it's hard to color white because the paper is white. So I'm going to make my car blue. If you want to, if you have a different color car, that's one of the colors of the rainbow, you can color it that color too. Okay, so I'm not gonna color the tires because the tires are usually black. So there's my blue car. Cool, right? All right, and this one says, I see the computer. And the word that has a line under it is computer, right? That's a computer. So let's color the computer. What do you think? Should we color it purple? Let's color it purple. Who has a purple computer? Here's a purple computer. I'm gonna color this green purple in the box. This is the shape of a rectangle, remember? Two long sides and two short sides. Okay. See, this is called listening and learning. Say, on this page, when I send this home, you're going to have a lot of pages to look through, and you might need help with some of them. Some of them, I'm not going to use my highlighter this time. So, this says, I see the 
dog, d dog. And dog has the line underneath it, see? So what color should we color this doggy? What color in our rainbow should we color the dog? How about yellow? Right, sometimes I've seen yellow dogs. Right? Don't color the house, make sure you color the doggy. And don't forget his tail and his toes. There you go, a yellow doggy. Okay, so the next one says, I see the donut. Hmm, donut. Let's color our donut purple. Like purple icing on a donut, right? I'm gonna color the icing part with the sprinkles. And purple is part of our rainbow. There's one color we haven't used yet. Does anybody know what color? The red one. So maybe we'll look at the next picture. Mm, this donut looks good, right? Purple frosting with purple sprinkles. So this says, I see the dress. The dress, let's color the dress red. Can you find your red crayon? Okay, I'm gonna color my dress red. Maybe this is like a Valentine dress, right? I'm not gonna color the bow, I'll make the bow white. But the dress is red. Very good. Red. Okay, and the last one that we have that we're gonna do together says, I see the duck, D duck. So find your duck and let's color the duck. What do you think? Hmm, should we color it yellow? Let's color it yellow. Okie dokie. So when you get these papers at home, you can do with me together or you can do with your mommy or daddy or your brother and sister. And if you need help, they can help you. But try and look at the first letter, D, D, D. I know you've been learning your letters in class. So try and look at your first letter of the word that's underlined and sound it out, D, D. So when you see a chair or a D, duck, you can figure out the picture. Ch, ch, d, d, duck. Okay, sounds good? Good. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do today, something called rainbow writing. Put this on the side. I'm sorry, I just need a sip of my drink. I'm so thirsty. So today we're gonna to practice rainbow writing and we're gonna use our numbers to rainbow write. So what is rainbow writing? So the first thing I'm gonna do is use my pencil to write my name. So I know this is mine. And remember, if you have these stapled together or flipped together, you only have to write your name one time on the front page, okay? So what is rainbow writing? Rainbow writing is practicing your writing with all the colors of the rainbow, okay? So what number is this? The number zero. So what's the first color of the rainbow? Remember? Red, so we're gonna take our red crayon or colored pencil or marker, whichever one you want. And we're gonna start at the dot and go around to trace. Then we'll put the red to the side. What's the next color? Orange. I'm gonna start at the dot and go around and put it down. 
you're just going to make sure that you stay inside the black lines. Next is yellow. Start at the dot and go around and stop. Okay. Then comes green. Around and stop. Blue. Around and stop. It's okay if you go on top of the other colors. If you want to try and stay inside the lines. And the last color is purple. Around and stop. So look at my number zero. It has all the colors inside. And that is called rainbow writing. So what number comes after zero? The number one, right? So I'm not, I don't have to write my name because I wrote my name on the other page, on the top, on the front page, and I have them stapled together. So if I lose it, you can look at the front page. So again, we're going to use all the colors to go inside the two lines. So this is the number one. So let's, what color do we start with? Red. We go from top to bottom, number one. Orange, we go from top to bottom. Yellow, we go from top to bottom. Green, nope, yep, green. We go from top to bottom. I thought Miss Helene made a mistake. Then we have blue. And then we have purple, top to bottom. And there's my rainbow number one. So we did zero and number one. We'll do one more together. And then the rest you guys are gonna do by yourself because I know you're very smart. What number comes after the number one? The number two, this is a big one. Ready? So let's start with our red. And we start at the dot and we go up and around and down and over the number two. Ready? Let's try it again. Start at the dot, see? Go up and around and down and over. Yellow. Up and around and down and over. Green. Up and around and down and over. Blue. Up and around and down and over. And the last one is purple. Up and around and down and over. And that is me rainbow writing and practicing writing the number two. So in this paper, you also have the number three. Don't forget to start at the dot, around and around. And the number four, down across and down. And one more, oops, the number five, across, down, and around. It's almost like the opposite of the two, see? This is the number five. Down and around, go back to the dot, and go over. Okay, so... Today we learned about all the different colors, again, of the rainbow, right? Next time I see you, we're going to do something fun. And we're going to talk about mixing the colors to see what happens. What do you think is going to happen if we mix colors together? I don't know. Stay tuned for the next time, okay? All right, if you can, try and go outside and get some fresh air. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.